What's up patrons, Headphones Neil here, back with a follow-up Android app review. In this case, it's going to be the Nothing launcher that was released for the Pixel and Samsung Galaxy S phones on Android, and as it turns out, more recently updated to also work on OnePlus phones. So I was actually poking around the Google Play Store. I had this search history on, much like you see here, and it showed up, and I was like, all right, well, let's see if it's there. And sure enough, for my OnePlus 9 Pro, the Nova launcher, or the Nothing launcher beta showed up. So um, reading the install notes or the update notes and all of that, it does have a new setup page. It has a link to their Dropbox or ringtones and wallpapers and things like that. So... I thought I would install it, give it a shot, and see how it is as far as an official app that is now set to work with um, the uh, OnePlus 9 Pro. In my initial earlier testing, I didn't see too much different versus the APK I sideloaded, but with whatever fixes they might have done, I thought I would use the more official version. So once you launch the app, you'll get this nice initial screen as far as um, setting the default launcher. So we'll of course do that. It'll take you back to the prior screen and ask you for permissions for photos and media on your device. This is of course, as you can see from the screen for wallpaper access. So you'll hit allow. You can use the default weird hand looking thing like it's from the grudge if you want. For me, I'd stuck with the, my st default wallpaper just for the purpose of this testing so I can kind of see if there's any contrast or weird widget issues or anything like that. Um, so you'll hit confirm and then you're automatically taken to your home screen. So that's the entire setup process. From here, you technically don't actually need to do anything else. Um, especially if you already have your own weather app installed. You can use the OnePlus One that you see here, uh, which is this one, and you do have to give permissions. Um, so if you kind of like a minimalist weather I, uh, widget with just the current condition and temperature, then it's, it would be one to use in a link to, I guess, uh, weather a forecast and all of that. I do use today weather so that I can get the hourly and daily forecasts on, um, on my widget, which is on my home screen. So um that's playing around with it earlier though um this widget is essentially all you see you'll get the current the condition and temperature and then touching it will get you the full forecast now if you want to remove the widget it's much like any other home screen you'll hold down and at the top of the screen you'll get widget settings and remove so we'll hit remove same thing with this uh, nice little clock widget that's built in uh, one of the cool features that I didn't get to test in my last review and initial testing was the icon resizing and the folder resizing. So one of the cool things here is let's say you only use a few shortcuts on your home screen or you want bigger um, icons. All you need to do is hold down on any icon and you'll see these two diagonal looking arrows. So you'll hit that and the icon now becomes bigger. And you can do that with just about any icon. So on this current layout, you essentially can only set um, set four icons, and then you'll have a little bar for you know smaller icons or a four by one widget or something like that. Now, if you want to create a big folder out of these icons, then you'll just merge them together like you do on any home screen, and you'll get a nice folder. Unfortunately, at the moment, you can't really do too much as far as moving the folder around or resizing it or anything like that. You can rename it if you want. Um, but that's really about it. So I would ideally like the folder to be closer to the bottom of my screen so that it's easier to access with one hand, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so that's really, um, the bulk of the folder uh, system. The Google pill here that you see at the bottom is just quick search. There's nothing for the Google, um, app itself or the discover feed. There's no swiping to access the feed. As far as the launcher settings, when you hold down on a blank area and you can go to home settings to do things like set your default app, home app, if you didn't do it at setup, you can give uh, permissions to see notification dots if you want that. And then if you want to have apps added to your home screen, then you can um, do that upon installation. Now, as far as wallpaper and style goes, you, basically, it's, as you can tell, you can select your wallpaper, you can enable or disable wallpaper scrolling. 
Um, and then you have your app grid, which is actually super simple. They currently only have four by five and five by five, but I was thinking about it a little bit and they actually have it at the top of the screen. So my indication or thought process is that eventually they might increase that a little bit to make it, you know, four by six or four by four or something along those lines to have a few more options. But at the moment, there's only two. So I actually kind of like the minimalist idea of that. Um, off the, right off the bat, they do also support icon packs. So um, if you do want to install install custom icon packs, then that is an option. Um, the only issue I saw with that was with um, pop-up widget and creating shortcuts. So if you do use shortcuts on your home screen, then whatever shortcuts you do create are not going to um, show up, play nicely. So I'll create one shortcut on my home screen right now. And when you do that, it looks okay, but um, on basic, on almost any other launcher, so be it the stock OnePlus launcher, Nova launcher, or anything like that, that icon that you're using with your shortcut manager in pop-up widget actually fills a whole icon, whereas here it creates its own circular round icon. So that's actually kind of a bummer. So I'm hoping that's just part of the beta testing phase for the icon or the current destock icon pack and they actually increase it at some point. So that's something to keep in mind with, but if you don't actually use any shortcuts, then it is actually quite all right. Uh, one of the things I didn't check was actually, it was using a shortcut, like when you long press on an icon. So if we stick the short, the Google search icon, then it's actually creating something that's similar to any other launcher. So I, on the flip side of what I was saying, that actually kind of makes sense with what they're doing. So it's actually a uniform icon pack, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. But um, I don't know, it just feels kind of ununiform as far as pop-up widget shortcuts should match the a regular icon versus um, a shortcut created by long pressing on an app icon and using one of their um, built-in um, shortcuts. So. And I, and I did test this with a separate a couple of other icon packs and that's it kind of um, sticks to what you see with this particular icon. So that's something to keep in mind. But of course, if you don't create shortcuts like I just did, then um, it won't really matter for you. So that's actually all there is for this launcher. I mean, it's very minimalistic, very basic. It has some common features that everyone uses like icon pack support, custom grid, right resizing, but easier than what you would see. So definitely easier than what you have in Nova Launcher, a few easier options than what you have in the OnePlus Launcher. So um, because I of the shortcut things with the pop-up widget, I'm actually that's actually the reason why I'm not using um, Nothing Launcher for now. But if they ultimately do fix that or change that a little bit, then I'll give it another try. But when you go into the OnePlus Launcher and you go to their layouts, you actually have quite a few. So you can go from three to five, all the way up to five by six. So if uh, Nothing Launcher do, does that, that might be a good thing. But Nothing Launcher's icon picker is actually much sim more simplified than what you get in the OnePlus Launcher because you have you know the default options. You can set art themes or not, um, icon size, app names, apps name size. But then you also have material style, um, pebble style, and all these options. So if you're someone who just wants to install an icon pack and apply it, Nothing Launcher definitely makes it very easy. So as far as initial thoughts go, I'd probably definitely still give it a grade of about a 90%. Overall, a good minimalistic launcher. Um, if I ever do stop using... Um, pop-up widgets, then it would be the way to go just because I would be able to keep a uniform icon pack uh, with the rest of my icons. So like I said, at the moment, I did test it on my OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, I didn't see if they've expanded to other devices or not. And even in the what's new, they didn't say that they're adding support for the OnePlus 9 Pro. So it might be just one of those things that... Um, well, it actually says available for devices with Android 11 and higher, so it might be available for all devices now. So definitely a minimalistic launcher that's worth checking out. So if you just want something that is simple, easy to use, has a few options, but is not bogged down by a lot of options, then so far nothing launcher seems to be the way to go. In my initial test, it seems like widgets also updated pretty normally, so I didn't see any issues with that either. 
So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedbacks, do you like or dislike Nova Launcher? What do you hope they implement? Like for me, I still hope they implement the double tap to lock and wake, which I didn't see at the moment. So if they once they implement that, then it should be a, a pretty solid enough uh, minimalistic launcher. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, or any feedback or anything like that, you can comment on this post on the YouTube video at youtube.com slash Patel N01. But thanks for tuning into this particular review and until next time.